According to a new study, life could be found on one of Saturn's moons without a spacecraft even landing on it. According to the scientists, evidence of life on the ice moon Enceladus could be uncovered by a robot spacecraft sampling plumes jetting out of its liquid interior. Researchers have long speculated that alien bacteria may live on Enceladus, which is one of the planet's 83 moons, but they did not have definitive answers. A research team led by the University of Arizona in the USA mapped out a hypothetical space mission that could confirm or deny the presence of extraterrestrial living organisms. This would involve sending up a space probe to orbit the moon Enceladus, which harbors a vast saltwater ocean underneath a thick ice shell. Near its south pole, this ocean spews methane gas, an organic molecule typically produced or used by microbial life, which could be analyzed by an orbiting probe. When it was first surveyed by NASA in 1980, it looked like a snowball in the sky. A second NASA mission between 2005 and 2017 found that its thick layer of ice hides a vast, warm saltwater ocean outgassing methane, a gas that typically comes from microbes on Earth. The methane was discovered when the mission's Cassini spacecraft flew through giant water plumes erupting from the surface of Enceladus. As the tiny moon orbits the ringed gas giant, it is being squeezed and tucked by Saturn's immense gravitational field, which heats up its interior due to friction. As a result, spectacular plumes of water jet from cracks and crevices of Enceladus' icy surface into space. While the number of bacteria in its ocean would be small, all it would need to uncover them would be a visit from a robot spacecraft. The study's senior author, Professor Regis Ferrer, explained, Clearly sending a robot, crawling through ice cracks and deep diving down to the seafloor would not be easy. Located about 800 million miles from the Earth, Enceladus completes an orbit around Saturn every 33 hours. It stands out because its surface is like a frozen pond glinting in the sun and it reflects light like nothing else in the solar system. Along the moon's south pole, at least 100 giant water plumes erupt through cracks in the icy landscape, much like lava from a violent volcano. Researchers believe that water vapor and ice particles ejected by these geyser-like features make up one of the Saturn's iconic rings. The excess methane expunged in the plumes resembles hydrothermal vents, which are found under the sea where two tectonic plates meet each other. Where they meet, hot magma below the seafloor heats the ocean water in the porous bedrock, creating white smokers, which release scorching, mineral-rich, hot sea water. Tiny organisms under the sea have no access to sunlight, so they need the energy from chemicals released by white smokers to stay alive. The team say any regions of Enceladus that contain life would feed the plumes with just enough cells or organic materials to be picked up by the instruments on a future spaceship. The team say a future mission may struggle to find direct evidence of life, but the presence or absence of certain organic molecules such as particular amino acids would serve as an indirect evidence for or against an environment abounding with life. Until then, the fact that we can't rule out life's existence on Enceladus is probably the best we can do, the researchers added.